Life Advice on Today, sponsored by Boots, with you for life. Now we live in an age of stress and anxiety and one in three of us partaking in counselling. That is according to the Irish Independent, of course, which published a piece in reaction to the general public health and COVID-19 report carried out by the Irish Association for Counselling and Psychotherapy. We've asked our pharmacist, Donal O'Sullivan, to come in to tell us all about stress and I suppose mental health mm -hmm. and wellbeing. Donal, great to have you. It is November, there is a focus on men's health always in November. An important topic, Tahi, in here because... I don't know if you saw Brent Pope was launching the man survey last Friday. That's right. So uh, they concluded that two thirds of men have an unhealthy idea of what the ideal man is. Mm -hmm. It's like this macho, strong and silent type. Mm -hmm. But the problem with that is that men who think like that are three times less likely to look for help if they're sad or feeling depressed. Now that's quite... Alarming. It's a huge number, Don. It's a huge number, anyway. Yeah. And I couldn't believe, too. November had a figure of 30% of men, and this is men up to the age of 55, 30% would feel uncomfortable talking to a friend or colleague if they had concerns about their thoughts or feelings. Yeah. So and we November, don't talk. the whole real focus there is to kind of say to guys, yeah. if you're not going to seek out professional help, talk to a friend, share yes. your troubles. Share your troubles. I don't know if you saw that recording. Now, you were from Galway, Mara, you yeah. probably wouldn't like uh, me praising the Mayo players, but, <laughs> but you, had, you had Padraig O'Hora and yeah. Lee Hegan yeah. out uh, having a walk in the woods. It was an excellent uh, uh, recording. Mm -hmm. And we often look at Padraig O'Hora as a man that's mentally tough and mm -hmm. the ultimate hell week and the way he yeah. plays with Mayo. But he was saying that maybe a year ago, he was too busy, too much going on, and his mood was dropping, and talking to a friend, he encouraged him to, to seek further help. Yeah. And even Lee Keegan, a super, super athlete, yeah. maybe the best uh, kind of player for the last 10 years, Mara, mm -hmm. definitely won't like me he's, he's yeah. saying that. But he was open out that, this is a supreme athlete, he had anxiety about body image, looking at social media images. Mm -hmm. So at least all this awareness is a good thing. Yeah. People right. and, and a lot of it as well, I think people have busy lives, even like the lads there now, take the Mayo footballers there, like they're, they're, they're working full time, Yes. they're training full time, they're playing with Mayo, they're playing with their own clubs. And, and they have to keep a family on the go, some of them. Some of them. And the thing about it then, all of a sudden you could be falling kind of into a kind of a darker place as time goes on, though, without even realising, and all of a sudden yeah. then... You, you, you realise, you wake up this moment, oh my God, it's a bit darker than what it was before. Unknown to yourself. Unknown, and that was, that, that was an eye-opener, even for myself, to see the, these fellas who you yeah. think n nothing would bother them. But it's great to see people being open and talking about their concerns and feelings. It, mm. It's excellent. Yeah, you, we need to be doing Because I, th like, I thought men were getting generally better. No, on a personal level, I've spoken to a few friends in the last year or two who said to me out of the blue that they weren't feeling great. And I said, how do you mean? Well, they were feeling just a bit down all the time. Mm. And that was, only, that was the first time ever, maybe last year or the year before, friends of mine had said it to me. So we, we, we chatted about it. Whereas that wouldn't have happened before. So I think we are going in the right direction, it though. It is going in the right direction. And even I liked what November, they have this thing, ALEC. Mm -hmm. So A-L-E-C. So ask somebody how they're feeling. Listen to them carefully. Mm -hmm. E, encourage action. And then C, check in on them every, every now and again, but just more conversations. Yeah. And I suppose, to be honest, I mean, when it comes to mental health and if people don't talk, if you look at the statistics when it comes to death by suicide, men are more than three and a half times more likely to die by suicide. So that is yeah. really worrying. So it's so, so important to start the conversation early, Donald. It is. And we'll say, I saw no, the good figure, sorry for all these figures now, but 53% of men in the Movember survey that play sport at least were saying that they would talk to a teammate mm -hmm. after training or a game. And it's thought mm -hmm. that that could be because men maybe like a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder conversation yeah. Yeah. while they're engaging in activity rather than an intense face-to-face -face Women are activity. more likely to have that yes, type but, where, you know, yeah. emotional, deep conversation. Yeah, yeah. But Donald, we talk about, you know, you know seeing counsellors and seeing doctors and if you need medication and all that, it's very important. But yeah. basic exercise and getting out and about, this, this is really helps us, doesn't it? It does. So you, you were talking about exercise there, uh, Mara. So exercise can affect noradrenaline, dopamine, serotonin in your brain that can make you feel better. Mm -hmm. it, it, it gives you a sense of achievement which improves your self-esteem. And it also helps you to, to sleep more, 
and I don't know if you've ever punched a bag inside the yeah. gym, but it's great for getting rid of frustration. <laughs> sport is, sport is, is fun. And if you can even exercise in nature, mm -hmm. there's even research, Mara, looking at the benefits of being out in nature, that it, mm -hmm. it can lift our, our happiness. And, and again, Donald, these are all things we'd have done naturally down through the mm. years. Even, say, the older generation, my father and my grandfather's generation, that would have happened naturally. And another thing that happened naturally that mightn't happen as naturally anymore is just having a social connection. Yes. You know, even talking to people, meeting a fella uh, for a cup of coffee or for a drink or even playing cards, that seems to be going away as well. We need to bring that back. Yeah, the Mehel and, and, and people meeting at the mm, creamery the or after yeah. mass and that a lot of people are socially isolated now. So it's so important. I thought Mental Health Ireland have five very good tips if you look online on mental health. Um, one of them is connections mm -hmm. to your family, your friends, your community. But another good point was giving. So maybe to try and volunteer more mm -hmm. if a person could in, the, in, the, in their community and try to contribute more to society. Sometimes that can that, What that you can get back yourself. from that then, Donald, is huge. What you get exactly. back from volunteering yeah. is massive, you I see. think. Yeah. And they have a lot of other good tips, for example, maybe learn a new skill mm -hmm. because that's a positive distraction mm -hmm. and it also helps your self-esteem. So you can get a lot of good tips online. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Donald, thank you very much. And as Donald all. says, the first thing is to, to talk to somebody, whether it's a friend, if you don't feel like mm -hmm. going any further, but of course do consult, seek medical advice as well, yes. your GP, your pharmacist. And we have a list of great supports as well on our social media for the issues raised, rte.ie, of course. Health advice on today, sponsored by Boots with you for life.